This is Lounge Jam, where gaming is just a way of life. We've got multiplayer mayhem coming at you as we continue our quest to find the UK's best gamers. Wherever you are, and if you think you're good enough, then get in touch. Four of you will be going head to head today in the hub, but only one can be crowned the Lounge Jam Grandmaster. We check out the brand new Zelda game in Thrash. Lounge Jammer Ben goes around the golf with Dane Bowers in Slevstick. In Exposed, we check out the soon to be released PS2 camera that actually puts you inside the game. And Kylo and Sim will be here corrupting your sweet little minds. Oh, I think I've just corrupted my pants. Man, that is toxic. Land game. Oh, put a cork in it, Kylo. Now they're mean, they're tough, and they're out there. Let's meet today's gamers. Gamer 1 is Matthew. Matthew is 13, he just loves football games and would like to play FIFA 2003 with Robbie Keane. Gamer 2 is Thomas. Thomas is also 13, he can play guitar and piano and is actually making his very own computer game. Gamer 3 is Lisa. Lisa is 14, her fave game is The Sims and she would love to play with Tommy B from Blazing Squad. Gamer 4 is Kurt. Kurt is 14, his favourite game is 007 Agent Under Fire and his fantasy celeb stick is Sarah Cox. Kurt looks the part, but whoever wins, they're going to find it tough. One of them has got to go at the end of this round, so let's cross over to the hub, because here comes round one. Here they come, the four musketeers. That Lisa's the fittest musketeer I've ever seen. She's buff, Sim. But what's her first challenge? Apart from checking out the boys. Ciao bello, we're off to the hills of Italy for Colin McRae too. This PC multiplayer is two laps of grippy tarmac that twists through the mountains like spaghetti. Drivers, keep away from the ancient Roman walls. So it's Lisa in the Ford, Kurt has the Peugeot, Matthew has the Mitsubishi, and Thomas in the Subaru. Three, two, one, go! Lisa burns rubber off the line and makes a great start, but it's Thomas who leads the pack into the first corner. Matthew and Thomas come together as Kurt looks for a way through. He takes Thomas and second place. Lisa's in four. She's playing it safe, Sim. The boys are all over the place. Lisa nudges Matthew to take the lead. Easy, Lisa, you can win this. But she clips the wall. <gasps> what a name. The boys catch and pass her. It's chaos as Thomas runs wide and Lisa gets it sideways. <laughs> Thomas recovers and goes for Lisa and third place. But she's playing hard to get. Ha, typical. Thomas flips it too. This is more like banger racing than a rally. Lisa's really going for it. Now she's chasing Matthew for second place. She's driving like a champion sim. Oh no, she hits the wall again and rolls it completely. I meant to say driving like a chump. Matthew gets it all wrong and has to reverse out of trouble. Can Lisa recover and take seconds? She's caught him, Sim. But now she has to get past. And Matthew is making it difficult, but she passes him. Matthew bites back, what a battle. Lisa hits the wall again. Thomas runs to Lisa and flips the Subaru end over end. Heavy, Thomas can't believe it. Up front, Kurt is as cool as a cucumber. Matthew has kept second place. Thomas rejoins in third and Lisa takes to the grass in full. She needs to keep it on the black stuff to catch that Subaru. Thomas is taking it easy round the corners as Kurt crossed the finish line for an easy win. Nice driving, Buster. <laughs> Thomas hasn't given up yet. He's catching Matthew. This is going to be a close one, Sim. They touch and Thomas goes off. Can Lisa pass him to stay in the game? Matthew crossed the line for second. Here comes Lisa. Thomas scrapes in for third and lovely Lisa in full for now. She's still fit though, Sim. My worst moment was then I crashed into the wall because I was coming first, but then it just sort of all went wrong from there. I think Matt will win because I've been watching him and he's really good. Thomas was just so lucky there. Rosie, who do you think was the best out of the bunch? Well, I was hoping Lisa was going to win, but in the end it just went all wrong. It certainly did. Well, you know what? The remaining three have it all to play for later on in Gran Turismo Concept. 
Imagine if you can actually climb inside a game. Perhaps you'd be David Beckham and score that free kick, or Matt Hoffman doing some insane tricks. Well, it could all become reality, and Foggy is here to tell us all about it. Hiya, Foggy. Hello, mate. Now, what is it? It's a new gadget. It's called the Sony iToy. You plug it into your PS2, and it literally puts it inside the game. Wow, it looks amazing. So how does it work? Well, basically, it's a webcam. It takes your image, uh, like a video image of you, puts right. it on the screen, and it tracks your movement, so it knows where you are, and you can interact with and touch all of the characters and objects on screen. You're literally in the game. I don't believe it, it looks so amazing. So which games will I be able to play with Okay, it well it comes with a disc, uh, basically just full of mini games. So you've got Wishy right? Washy, where you're just cleaning the inside of a TV screen. <laughs> it doesn't sound much, but I swear, it's a wicked game. Do you know what, I know it sounds really weird, but I'm loving the idea cool. of washing windows right now. And Peter's loving it too. In fact, it's your fault, we haven't been able to I'm not even allowed to go myself. <laughs> Peter, are you enjoying the eye toy? Yeah, I really, really look. You look like it. So do you think it's going to be the next big thing, or maybe just a novelty? The next big thing. Maybe every household can have one, Foggy. OK, if you like that, check this one out. This is Kung Fu. This is a beat mode where you actually have to throw the punches yourself. So you can beat up the enemy. Totally. There's little ninja dudes flying through the air. You have to knock them out. You would be a Bruce Lee in your front room. That's amazing. So what else is this going to be used for then, Well, there's quite a few applications, if you think about it. There's an arcade machine called Police 24-7. They can use it for that. You have, to, you have to duck and dive around the machine. You could do that in your front room with the aid of this. You could uh, take a picture of your face, scan it onto one of the players in the game. Yeah? You could be stood next to David Beckham walking out with him. Hey, England. that would be <laughs> glorious. So how much is this going to set us back then? It's going to be about £45 for the camera and the game. So it's roughly the price of a normal game. I thought it would be more expensive. No, that is bad. very, very good. Foggy, thank you. As no always, problem. you've been a nugget of knowledge. Now, guys, don't fret, because if you want more details on that, I will be giving you all the information at the end of the show. But now, rumour has it that Kaino and Sim have been kept up all night by a princess. And no, it wasn't oh. me. <laughs> Now this is what your GameCube was made for. Yeah, man, this is a new Zelda game. Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker. Wind Maker? What have you got to do, go around eating baked beans or something? Waker, you wazook. It's a magical instrument that lets you control the wind. Like the ocarina in the N64 Zelda? Exactly. All right. The gameplay looks heavy, like the traditional kind of RPG adventure style. But what's with the graphics? It looks well different to the old ones. Yeah, they've gone for the cell shaded look. A lot of people didn't like it at first, but take a look, man. The game is jaw dropping. Look sweet, man, sweet. I heard the Japanese version came with a bonus disc. On it was GameCube ports of the classic Ocarina of Time and Euro Zelda. Yeah, it did, and I reckon we'll get it in the UK too. Wicked, three games for the price of one? Cracky, I better not waste any time. Uh, what are you on about? Well, with three Zelda games on the way, I need to stock up on the sleep I'm gonna miss. Wake me up when the discs arrive. What a digit. Yeah. Well, we don't have to wait because we've got it right here and Carl and David are jamming away. You're right, David. Now, have yeah. you tried out any of the original Zelda games? Yeah, they're nice, but they're not good as this one. They're not, are they? Do you know what? I remember playing the old Zelda on my Nintendo back in the day, but the graphics have come a long way since then. What do you think of the new cartoon style? They're quite colourful, but they're not... This one is quite hard. It's quite hard to play, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you just keep practicing, all right? Now, Lisa's gone, but Matt Thomas and Kurt remain. Let's go back to the hub, because it's round two. It's a game on. It's the streets of Tokyo for Gran Turismo concept. The R246 circuit looks easy, <laughs> but it isn't. This PS2 multiplayer race is fast and furious. Just the boys now, Sim. Yeah, but you need to drive like a man to win this race. Kurt has the all-wheel drive Nissan Skyline. Thomas draws the hairy Dodge Viper. And Matthew, the dead, sexy Pagani Zonda. Three, two, one, go! It's a great start by Matthew. He takes the lead. Thomas is second and gaining. Kurt hasn't got the speed, but can he get round the corners? I don't know, can he? No! He's hit the barrier at the end of the straight. Fancy some crisps him? No, thanks. Thomas and Matthew are battling out in front. Matthew loses it, and Thomas steals first place. Kurt passes to take second. Yes, make you bacon flavor. Your favourite. No! Thomas leads. Kurt second. Matthew trails in third. Kylo. Whoop, whoop. Put those crisps away and pay attention, you wazook. Kurt loses it again, and Matthew steals back third. Matthew is on a charge. Watch out, Thomas. Wicked, I just won 20 quid. Matthew barges past Thomas, but Thomas is playing hardball. Kurt 
takes back second. Can he go on and take first place? No way, Sim. He hasn't got the grunt. Matthew is prepared to wait for the leaders to lose it. He sees a chance and passes Kurt. That Zonda has bare speed, Sim. And Kurt barges past the both of them. Oi, this is a bumper cars, Kurt, you wattock. It's chaos, Kylo. Thomas takes back first and Kurt becomes a skyline sandwich. Man, I can't watch. This race is hectic. Kurt loses it on the last corner as Matthew passes. This is just the first lap. The lead has changed six times already. This could be anyone's race, Sim. They cross the line for the first time. It's Thomas first, Matthew second and Kurt third. Woohoo! It's a close run thing and Kurt's going to have to take a few chances if he wants to get back in the race. We'll be back in just a moment with the climax of round two. Plus, can Lan Jammer Ben beat Dane Bowers in Slepstick? Going pro meets a pro gamer. That's someone who gets paid for playing games. And Jam Busters will be on hand to crack Star Fox Adventures. Keep it Lan Jam. It beats playing by yourself. This is Lan Jam, where round two of the Lan Jam Challenge is still underway. When we left you, Thomas was in first place, Matt was second, but Kurt was bringing up the rear. One error and it could all go horribly wrong back in the hut. Matthew has been punted down to third and he wants it back. I was thinking, Sim, do you think they drive like this in their dad's cars? I don't think so. Matthew barges past Thomas but loses it big time. Watch out, Britain, when Matthew gets his licence. Kurt takes back second and leaves Matthew standing. Out front, Thomas is keeping his call. He's driving safely, Sim. Matthew nudges past Kurt once again. I bet his dad owns a body shop. But he runs wide again and Kurt takes it right back. Serves him right. But Kurt can't match the speed of the Zonda. Matthew passes him again. What? No way. Kurt fights back as Thomas enters the last corner. Can Kurt hold on to second to stay in the game? He deserves to, Sim. He's been battling all the way. It's the final straight. Thomas leads in the Viper. Kurt second in the Skyline. Matthew last in the Zonda and looking like an early bar. He needs one. His driving stinks. Thomas is definitely in the final. Kurt just has to cross the line. Oh no, bad news. Matthew passes him for second. Like I said, nice driving, Matt. So Thomas wins. Matthew scrapes in second. Yes. And poor Kurt third and out of the game. Great race. Gutted I lost it at the end. Can't believe it. When I first came to Land Jam, I thought I'd get all the way to the final. Gutted I didn't. I will be back and I will be the Land Jam Grandmaster. Oh, that's the spirit, Kurt. But Ruben, you are a Gran Turismo expert. What do you think of the guys there? It was so rubbish. They're ten times better than they did. Check you! Well, you should see my steering. I'm so whack. Anyway, did you know that if you get really good at games, you can play all over the world and win some serious, serious cash? Well, just take a look at this, because we meet someone who does just that in Going Pro. Hey, Carlo, when do you think Project Golf and Racing 2 will be finished? Shh, Sim, I'm training. Training? Training for what? I've decided to give up this crazy world of TV and become a pro gamer. You? A pro gamer? Yeah, think about it, Sim. Big money, travelling the world, hanging out with models on yachts, fame, glamour and invites to all the best parties. <laughs> A professional gamer is someone who plays computer games and earns a living from playing them and winning as much as £100,000 of prize money. If you want to win competitions, you really have to be the best of the best. I practice four or five hours a day, every day. And then running up to the competition, you know, you have to put in more time, maybe eight, nine, ten hours, just to make sure you're at your peak and you do your very best. I think pro gaming is, is quite a short term career from when you're uh, about 12 and you can play these games well to when you're about 18 and your reflexes start dropping off. You lose that edge and that speed I think. If you want to take your gaming to the next level, go to your local gaming centre, find out what competitions are on, get playing with uh, other guys, form teams, play in leagues, all that stuff. It's getting absolutely massive as well. These guys are becoming major stars. What? Like Bex? Gamers aren't quite as glamorous as, as David Beckham, but one day, you never know, maybe game players will be on the back of cereal boxes or doing TV adverts. It's every kid's dream, really, to be able to do something you love and enjoy and get paid for it. Sometimes it is work, but at the end of the day, it's not hard work. That's amazing. I can't believe he's too old for it already. I'm going to have to get a move on if I'm ever going to be a pro gamer. Land, 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 yeah. Sounds like a lot of hard work, if you ask me. Now, if you want to get really good at games, then you're in the right place, because it's Jam Busters. 
Linda, resident gaming guru, is here. And when it comes to gaming, you know your stuff, don't you, girl? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. I know so. I've got an email here from Claire in Carlisle. She's mailed in. She's stuck on Star Fox Adventures and wants some tips on how to get the enemy's health bar down quicker so that she doesn't keep losing. Well, the key to beating up the enemies in Star Fox is to use not the ordinary attacks, but the combo attacks. And there's a really easy one, which right, gets good look. results, which is basically you have to hit down A, down A, down A, down. So Woo! it's down A, down A, down A, down. down. And that kind of that kind of special swooshing around the sides type thing that goes on takes out your enemy. That's it there, and uh, whacks his health down. And that I find is the fastest way to kill him. It's such an easy combo to learn as well. And I loved your sound effects as well, there, Linz. That was very good indeed. Now here you've got some tips on how to score some free kicks in FIFA 2003. Yeah, well, one of the exciting things about FIFA 2003 is that you can curve the ball. So basically, when you come in to curve the ball, the first control you're given is to position where you want the ball to end up. So pick a spot that's fairly near to the corner, away mm -hmm. from the goalie. Right, and then you choose where on the ball you want to hit it. If you want it to swerve to the right, hit it on the right. If you want it to swerve to the left, hit it on the left. And finally, you've got to get it on the green spot on the accuracy. Now I've actually overhit this one so you can really see the curve. Now, the, the thing that causes this in okay. real life is actually called the Bernoulli effect. So ask your science okay. teacher about that. That's a pretty interesting one. He might tell swerve. me off and give me detention for that, Linz. <laughs> so that, that's Beckham actually misses there. But uh, that's, that's the kind of swerving into the right-hand side. So experiment with that. Um, try not to hit it too close to the okay. edge, just kind of halfway between the edge and the middle. Fantastic. Linz, thank you so much once again. If you've got any questions for Linz or any jams you want us to bust, then get yourself to itv.com slash CITV and click on the Land Jam links. What I want to know now is just how good Dane Bowers is in Slipstick. How you doing? I'm Dane Bowers. I've come to play um, a guy called Ben Tiger Woods. I've heard he's big. I've heard he's like five, like six foot ten. But I'm gonna take him out. And if he's really young, I've been told not to make him cry. I'm Ben, and I'm playing Dane Bowers at Tiger Woods Golf. I've heard that he says that he's the best, but how can he be when I am? Ready? Ready. Go! Go. Go. Get your putter out. You got to do better than that, Ben. Oh, you are just too fast. Speed go. Go be quick and right. Oh, you are just too fast. Oh, yeah. Ooh, everyone jump in the pool. I told you so. Just don't go in the water. Oh, you are just too fast. See, when it said Ben wins the hole, you won't see that again. So what score did you go to? Same school. Thank you. Oh, I'm putting you off. Not really. Yes. You played this before, haven't you? Hmm. You were just like falling yeah. in. I've got to say, Ben, well done. Did very well. Um, I put my hands up. Did beat me. But the rematch. The rematch. I can't believe I actually beat Dane Bowers at an old man's game. I told you I was the best, and I really am. Land game. I like your style, Ben. You showed him all right. Okay, I make that four to the land jammers and two to the celebs. Congratulations, guys. And Mitchell, who would you like to play? I would like to play Michael Owen on FIFA 2003. Oh, I'd love to play The Rock in WF Wrestling. That would be so dreamy. Now, if there's a celeb that you'd like to challenge, let us know. I'll be giving you details very, very soon. But now it's time to head back to the hub. Only Matt and Thomas remain, so who's got the nerve to go the distance? It's the grand final. It's Sega Soccer Slam on the GameCube. Warning, this is not a football simulation. Players use power moves, spotlight shots and killer kicks. But really, it's just an excuse for a punch-up. Live from Sunset Arena, welcome to Round 3. These guys are wicked gamers. This will be heavy. Thomas is Tsunami and Matthew is Toxic. Really? Three, two, one, go! You are toxic, get a load of this! Oh, Kylo, that's disgusting! <laughs> oh, Matthew scores in only five seconds! That's my toxic assistance for you. Check this out. Duke brings down the ball and slams it into the net. <laughs> no more toxic smells, please, Kylo. OK. Here's a chance from a close shot, saved by the goalie. Thomas must score in this half to stay in the game. Toxic, have possession. Ah, half time. Time to open my sandwiches. 
What have you been eating? Tsunami kickoff. Rumiko to Boomer. Kahuna. Saved by the goalie. Fish paste or baked beans, Sim? I don't know, you choose. Baked beans it is. Matthew is sitting pretty. He's got possession. Tsunami still. Kahuna shoots, saved again. Boomer tries across, but he's taken out by Nova's power move. Time is running out. Only a miracle can save Thomas. Can Tsunami recover? It's all over. Matthew yeah. scores again, but he blew away Thomas in the first five seconds. Blew away, really? I'm the land jam grandmaster. I think I did pretty well, but the early goal really brought down my confidence. In the final, I decided to pass up really quick and have a shot. And I could see in my early goal really affected Thomas because he looked round. I can't believe I won in the racing games and lost in the soccer game as it's the best game I play. I thought my opponents were quite good, but weren't good enough for me, was they? I will be back and I will be the Land Jam Grandmaster. Oh, Thomas just couldn't beat Matt's keeper. But here's Matt, our Land Jam Grandmaster. Yeah! Congratulations, how are you feeling? I'm great, yeah, thanks. Oh, well, take a look at this. Not only do you take home the title, but you also get the AMD gaming PC and kit. Are you feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling really <laughs> great, and my PC's wicked. Oh, congratulations once again, Matt. And I tell you what, you should be very proud of yourself. Now, if you want to get into the hub or challenge a celeb, then write to us at Landjam, CITV, PO Box 234, London, W105YQ. Or get along to the website, which is itv.com slash CITV, and hit the Landjam link. There you'll find more thrashes, jam busters and extra gaming info. Plus, Kylo and Sim will be playing for keeps. In the meantime, keep it land jam. Remember, it beats playing by yourself. <laughs> See ya. Matt, you were so amazing. Wow, that was a wicked show. Dane Bowers took a beating. I want to play Kylie at Whacked. Right, Kylo. What about that tech head? I've never seen him play a game. Yeah, that pro gamer would have taken him apart. He was cool. Matt made a pretty good land jam grandmaster too. But I'd beat the lot of them. You couldn't even beat my little sister. Shut it. Did you?